Today we are going to see an overview of Elizabethan age with the biography of Edmund Spencer. So first we will see introduction to Elizabethan age. Next the important writers of Elizabethan period. Next introduction to Edmund Spencer. Life of Spencer. Works of Spencer. Spencerian stanza. Finally we will have some questions to check your understanding. So. Let's, let's see first, Introduction to Elizabethan Age After Middle English period or Chaucerian period, there was a beginning of new kind of English. A new kind of English is called Modern English. The Modern English was began with the arrival of our great writer, legend, William Shakespeare. Now, the Elizabethan Age is also called a Renaissance period. Renaissance means we know that it's a rebirth. There was a rebirth of classical learning and literature. It happened because of two historical incidents. First, the discovery of New World by Christopher Columbus. Second, the printing press was invented by William Coxton. The same age, that is Elizabethan age, is also referred as the golden age of literature in England. Because there was a great development of Elizabethan drama with the English literature. So many literary works were developed during this time because of the arrival of our great writer, legend William Shakespeare and University Wits. So it is also called Shakespearean age. It was the time when new ideas and experiences were sought. Many new style of writing were introduced, especially a new kind of poetry. The sonnet was introduced by Thomas Smith in the early 16th century. At the time, writers were highly influenced by Italian Renaissance. There arises a new kind of genre called tragic comedy. It is an amalgamation of tragedy and comedy. So, let's see the important writers of Elizabethan era. The important writers of Important poets of this age Edmund Spencer, Philip Sidney, Michael Ryan, Thomas Sackville, Thomas Norton. The important dramatists were obviously University Wits and William Shakespeare. When we talk about Edmund Spencer, Spencer occupies an important position in the history of English literature because the significant work that Spencer has done. Let us start with important quotes about Spencer. First, we know that father of English prose, Charles Lamb calls Edmund Spencer as poet's poet. At the same time, all the Elizabethans recognized him as a prince of poets. Now let us see about life of Edmund Spencer. Edmund Spencer was born in East Smithfield at London in England. His father name is John Spencer. He was a cloth maker. He educated at Merchant Tyler's School and at Pembroke Hall College, which is located in Cambridge. He got his BA degree in 1573 and Master of Arts in 1576. He became a secretary to John King. He, John King was the Bishop of Rochester. To him, he became the secretary. In the year of 1578, when Spencer was in Ireland, he fell in love with an English girl called Elizabeth, and Elizabeth Boyle. While Spencer was in Ireland, he fell in love with an English girl named Elizabeth Boyle, who had come to Ireland from England and settled near Poet's residence, Kilcolman. He persuaded Elizabeth Boyle more than a year. That experiences he marked or recorded in a sonnet series called the Marathi. The marriage between Edmund Spencer and Elizabeth Boyle was hurriedly performed. The poem Epithalamian is his gift to his bride. The poem has an extraordinary large melodic range. Now let's see the important works done by Edmund Spencer one by one. So Spencer's 
first poem that is shepherd's calendar was published in late 1579 in this poem spencer appears as a character colin he dedicated that poem shepherd's calendar to the poet a great poet philip sidney uh, he published the shepherd's calendar anonymously under the pseudonym that is a fake name immorito meaning unworthy spencer got all the resources from the classics he the shepherd's calendar was modeled on theocritus idylls and classical poet virgil's eclogues the shepherd's calendar consists of 12 eclogues one for each month which is sung by various shepherds the shepherd's calendar expresses a great regret for the loss of for the loss of golden age a few months after the publication of the shepherd's calendar spencer was appointed as a secretary to the new governor of ireland lord grey d wilton in 1590 spencer returned to england and found a printer for first three books of his greatest poem the fairy queen the earliest publication of this fairy queen bore the spencer's name he also boldly dedicated that poem fairy queen to queen elizabeth so he got a grant pension of 50 pounds a year from queen elizabeth It is considered as the poem which is written in Spenserian stanza. It is considered as the first poem written in Spenserian stanza. The six books of Fairy Queen were published together in 1596. Actually, Edmund Spenser planned to complete 12 books based on 12 qualities of perfect chivalry, but he could complete only six books out of 12 books. This is the uh, six books has six qualities like holiness temperance chastity friendship justice and courtesy after this spencer published a volume of nine poems in the book of complaints in the year 1591 he published an elegy called daphnida on the death of lady howard he also published amarati and epithalamy in, in 1595 amarati is a collection of sonnets it contains 18 sonnets followed by four lyrics written for the, his beloved and wife elizabeth boy over a period of 2 years next you see spencer published prothalamy in 1596 spencer invented the word prothalamy that means spousal verse it is written for his wife prothalamine consists of 10 stanzas modeled italian canzoni so let's see about spenserian stanza spencer invented a new kind of stanza called spenserian stanza it consists of eight lines of iambic pentameter followed by an alexandrine that is also called iambic hexameter rhyme scheme of spenserian stanza is a b a b b c b c c The Spenserian star sonnet has interlocked quatrains with the rhyming scheme of A B A B B C B C C D C D E E. Now let's see some questions. Which is Spencer's first poetic work or first poem? It's The Shepherd's Calendar. Fairy Queen were planned to write in how many books? Initially it is planned to write in 12 books but uh, six books only were completed by spencer after his death spencer was buried in dash he was buried in westminster abbey near to charles 